Well, hi folks, this is Darren with My RV Works. I just want to take some time and answer some of the questions people have been sending us on our YouTube channel. Um, so the first one's coming from Kevin. Now Kevin's got a newer Dometic furnace. Okay, so I have, a, I have an Atwood furnace here and a lot of you might have the Atwood furnace. I will call that the old furnace. Um, I've mentioned several times Dometic bought Atwood in around 2014, so all the Atwood furnaces have now become Dometic furnaces. So he's got a Dometic uh, DFDS12 furnace. I don't have one with me, but his question is basically he was working on an ignition issue and it seems that the exhaust vent on the outside of the furnace has to be installed in order for it to work. So he's asking, is that a true statement? Um, and um, he's basically gone on to say that if he removes it, it doesn't work. If he puts it in, it does work. And he's looking at schematics and looking at the wiring on the furnace itself, looking for any kind of wires or sensors or anything like that. So he's asking that question. So um, basically, Kevin, yes, when you're running your furnaces, especially these new Dometic ones, it is very much required that the exhaust port be inserted into that port. Um, now this one here, it, again, it's not a Dometic, it's an Atwood, but the concept's the same. And um, I'll, I've taken a picture of this, but I'll, and I'll put a little picture in picture thing here. But let's see if you can look inside. See that little that little bump right there? Um, on this, for, now yours is gonna be, if I'm not mistaken on these new Dometics, they don't have this little fin on the bottom. I think they have like a little, it's, it's a little closed. Um, there's, there's different, uh, okay, depending on if you have a 35,000 BTU furnace, a 25,000 BTU furnace, or a 40,000 BTU furnace, the, the, I'm gonna call it a donut, okay? It's what I've been using it in the field. There's like a little, slot they put on here that gives a little bit of back pressure into your your burn chamber and uh, so um, it's got me a time or two um, where here i am diagnosing a furnace and it keeps flaming out on me which i believe is the problem you're having and then all you gotta do is slide this into that exhaust port and the thing works just fine so this exhaust port is part of the furnace combustion process okay and you might see a little bit of a a, a baffling or a damper i'll call it a damper in your exhaust tube so if you want to run this thing, you got to make sure that's installed in it, okay? So, Kevin, I hope that works for you. And um, so to answer your question, yes, it is true that the exhaust port needs to be in the furnace when you're running it. All right, so I hope this helps. Give us a thumb up if this was, you appreciate this kind of stuff. So this is Darren signing off. Until the next video.